Man of Interest here, and it's Monday, which means it's time for This Week in Keyboards, which is your weekly dose of mechanical keyboard news. And we've had a fun week, haven't we? We've had Thanksgiving, followed by Black Friday, and now it's Cyber Monday. Right before we get on the news, I want to tell you about the sponsor for this episode, which is Kono.store, which is currently running the pre-orders for the Hex Gears Gemini Dusk and Dawn, which are affordable aluminum TKLs. At $140, you're getting hot swappable sockets, USB-C, per Switch RGB and open source programmability. Check it out at Kono.store. Let's start with the news this week, talking about some key sets, and we have quite a few interchecks to start us off. Let's start us off with the intercheck for GMK Achromatic by Glubazoid. Glubazoid, Glubazoid, and I agree with Glubazoid's belief that a neutral keycap set is an essential part of one's collection. What could be more neutral than gray with even more gray? I do like the darker mods with the lighter alphas. The compatibility so far seems pretty sufficient. Interested to see more renders of this on different keyboards. And I'm also interested to wonder if there's gonna be any other colored accents planned, like other neutral sets like Muted and 9009 have. Next up, we have the Intersect 4 SPSA 128K by Hawk, which is inspired by the Macintosh 128K, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. I've said it in the past repeatedly, I'm not the biggest fan of typing on SA, but I really like the idea of this set with the side printed legends, would work perfectly with the height of the keycaps. Basically, there's going to be two sets going on with different colorways with two different sub-legends. I think they're both quite decent. If I only had to pick one, I'd pick the blue Photoshop one. We'll see how this group buy shapes up, since it's expected to launch all the way around Christmas, just around the corner. Next up, we got GMK Omega by Castor Boris, and it's a wrestling-themed key set done in collaboration with the Raging Asian. And I wouldn't say it's the best representation of Mr. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega has made the sacrifice to make it in Japan, but I'm not sure this set has made quite the sacrifice in the time needed to develop a decent colorway. Honestly, I'm going to have to say no to this in its current form, but I do hope they keep up the work in improving the colorway. Something can be there. I hope they can find it. Next, we have a GMK Hammerhead from Key Labs Keycaps, also known as Chad and Andrew. This set is created to evoke the feel of a chilled oceanic spray against your cheeks and the roll of deep blue gray swells under a stormy sky. The bright seafoam greenish legends on the modifiers reminds me a bit of the Cyan 4 DCS Twilight modifiers, and I really like that. I think it's going to look pretty good for the modifiers, but maybe the alpha keycap should do a little bit of color tweaking. I like where this is heading. Interested to see what they're doing next with it. Next up is another interest check. This is DSA Frost by Janglad. Inspired by those cold winter days, the combo of the colors are to have a sky blue modifiers with snow white alphas for a minimal yet fresh look with blue gray mountainous accents. It's really clean and simple, which is pleasant on the DSA profile. It appears Janglad will not be using signature plastics for this run, even as far as saying his won't be paper thin like theirs. This set will be die subbed, meaning we should hope that the reverse die sub sublimation for the modifiers comes out really nicely. Now let's round out the rest of the keycap news with a group buy for GMK Calm Depths over at Kono.store by Oblotsky. I think a lot of people have wanted this for quite a while, so as I'm doing this video right now, the price isn't up on the site, but by the time this video goes up, there will be a price, so my bad. Um, the base kit has decent compatibility for basically anything you need. There's an assembly kit for those who have ergodoxes, split boards, and other weird 40% stuff. And of course, if you're into the spacebar accent life, there is the spacebar kits. Next up, Wazda! Wazda! The Wazda Waz TKO controller. Yeah, I know that's an old commercial. I reference, but still, this is a very affordable $28 controller that requires no soldering and will make your WASD V2 TKL completely programmable through the QMK firmware. Easily a must have modification for anyone who has a WASD V2 thinking about modding it. This will definitely be great. Speaking of things that are great and add flexibility, is a foldable mechanical keyboard. Um, there's a prototype here, and we know that there's gonna be QMK with low profile switches, with either Cherry or Chinese, my guess being Kiowa switches, or a non-QMK version. And in general, it looks like the Chinese switches will have a much shorter turnaround with an estimated delivery for the foldable keyboard in January. It's gonna have an aluminum plate, Bluetooth, Type-C connection, 68 key layout, and per key backlighting. So, interesting part. 
The Intercheck runner, John 08099's Geek Hack signature, has a Velocifier information link, which makes me wonder if this is just a future Velocifier keyboard that's going to be on their shop and already in production, hence the shipping estimate in January. But something else that make, might make you go, hmm, is a 3D printed keyboard. I'm talking about the 3D printed wireless 3D ergonomic keyboard that's going to be on Kickstarter? Usually 3D printed cases are for good hobbyist projects or for prototyping. I wouldn't expect to see a 3D printed case as the final case on a Kickstarter project. But here's what we know. 20 degree tenting, split keyboard, Cherry MX switches, 50% key layout, thumb buttons, Bluetooth 5.0, hot swappable, open source Arduino firmware. I like the idea of this keyboard. Not sure about the execution. Mostly I can't go over how cheap that 3D printed case might end up looking. I don't know if I will like this, but I like the concept. There's something there about it, but I really wonder what the price is gonna be. I hope it's gonna be a big drop for using that material. Moving on is the KBA-1 by Adron Blount, and this cute little ditty is a three-key, fully programmable, hot toppable keypad. It's low-profile sides. Honestly, it makes me reminded me of a, a Twinkie. It sure looks like a Twinkie by these renders. Um, I think it's going to be a nifty little desk pad for many people. It's solid brass, so it's going to be nice and hefty and even more Twinkie-looking. Yeah. America. I wonder if this is going to be around the M6A prices, considering the fact it's all brass. We're going to see. Speaking of things we'll never see, though, is the true revival of Alp switches outside of Matthias's offerings. But Abrams Technology on GeekHack wants to do a group buy for the Kiangming KSB Alps clones, which come in two flavors, a clicky and a linear one. The clicky switches are noted for being significantly stiffer than Alps and Fuhua switches with strong tactility, according to the Death Story Wiki. There isn't much information in this small industry check, but eh, if you're interested, wait and see how it is. Uh, looks like this person is planning on just bulk ordering them from China and then shipping them out. Next, I want to know that starting tomorrow, you can order these nuts. And of course, I'm talking about the tool used to make your switch modifications easy by opening them up. I covered it last week, and I'm a big fan of these nuts. So I'm excited to order these nuts uh, tomorrow. Last but not least, I think, we have a great stabilizer guide over at Rama Works, which is a stabilizer guide I can definitely recommend to many people in the future. If you want to work on getting your stabilizer to be not as loud or rattly for future builds, this guide can definitely help you out. It's very illustrative and explains it clearly. Yes, that was the last topic. Sweet. I can read. That's all the news for the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have another video out on Wednesday, but if you guys like this video, feel free to like, subscribe. If you like my other videos, feel free to check those out as well. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon link in the description. I'll see you all on Wednesday for another video.